In the crossfire, Kenosha County businessman killed in a shootout in Jamaica. David Barnes was on vacation there, but somehow he got caught in the middle of a shootout with police and a fugitive. Our Myra Sanchuk talked to people who are shocked. The news hit hard for the mayor of Kenosha. Just shock and disbelief. I knew Dave and uh, his wife, Michelle, very well. 52-year-old David Barnes owns 11 cost-cutter hair salons in Kenosha, Racine, Sturdivant, and Burlington. Vacationing in western Jamaica this weekend, a Jamaica newspaper reports Barnes was hit in the crossfire between police and robbers in Savannah, Lamar. A Jamaican fugitive was also killed in the gunfight. The area is not one frequented by tourists, but those in Kenosha believe Barnes was visiting friends in the area. His business dealings and his personal life just uh, are a great guy, great individual, and this is just a tragedy for the community. Barnes was a motivating force behind the Kenosha Boys and Girls Club, sitting on its board the past 17 years. He was a past president and instrumental in fundraising to build this facility. Several years ago, he and his wife were awarded the Mary Frost Ashley Patron Saint Award for their passionate volunteer work. But Ron Stevens remembers the times Barnes quietly got a couple of bikes for kids who couldn't afford them. Such a positive guy. He was uh, one of those types of people on the board that, you know, when there was a little hesitation because this is a big project, David would ask everybody to sit back and think about the potential and the number of children we can reach if we do this. Now people in Kenosha who knew David Barnes are waiting for other news when the body of a beloved friend and community supporter will return home. Myra Sanchik, Fox 6 News. Now, authorities in Jamaica have yet to release the exact details of what happened down there, but we do know that a fugitive was robbing a clothing store and that Barnes was in that area. A